Hello, Rajita. How are you? So, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, so my name is Rajita. I completed BSc in the stream of MPCS. Okay. So, in 2022, from Eskaran Square College. So, uh, I got NCC certification from the same college. After that, I have uh, worked for more than one year in non IT. So, I just want to switch to IT sector. So, I am here to uh, improve my technical skills in DevOps. Okay. Tell me the difference between the region, availability zone, edge location. Have you heard about edge location? Yes. Yes? Heard? Yeah. So, what are the difference between these two things? So, uh, in region, we have different availability zones. Huh? Okay. Like, in the availability zone, we will use for the more availability. If something happened in a region 1, so, so data will be stored in a uh, data too, so that we can retrieve or back up the store, uh, data from other availability zone. So, I am not much aware about edge location. Fine. To make your application high available or high scalable, what procedure you follow? So, we'll uh, use load balancers and auto scaling for uh, have a high availability. Okay. So, you put your load balancer in private subnet or public subnet? Auto scaling. Auto scaling? Yeah. Okay, fine. So, so for public and private, we have two. So, uh, how many public subnets you have in your Twitter architecture? How many private subnets you have in your Twitter architecture? Uh, two public and four private subnets. Two public and? Four private. For private. What is the difference between public and private? So public means anyone can access. Okay. So private subnet, uh, if you if you some particular persons want to access our. Okay. What are the types of IP address we have? IP4 and IP6. Difference? So we have uh, like um, in IP4 we have five classes. Okay. In IP6 we don't have any classes. So uh, IP4 uh, it's an four. Uh, we have sixteen bits, and in IP6 we have thirty two bits. Uh, in IP4, we have like um, four octets. Uh, in this, we have uh, eight octets. IPv4 has four octets. In this, we have 16 octets. 16 into 8? 128. So, what is the bit? How many bits is uh, for IPv6? IPv6. Huh? How many bits? IPv6 is how many bits? IP address 128. Yeah. And then uh, the IPv4 is 32 bit, right? So when you divide your VPC, like CADR, we call it as CADR, right? What is CADR? CADR means uh, for which we have to allocating the, full form, the IP. Full form. What is CADR? Classless inter 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 domain routing. Routing, yes. Yeah. So you you divide the 10.0.0.0.0 by 16. This is your VPC. Yes. So you'll get 65,000 something. Yeah. A subnet, if you divide 10.0.0.0 by 24, how many IP addresses you get? 256. So, you get 256 or 251? That will show 256, sir, but 250 available will be 251. 251. What five about the 5? For internal usage, sir. All internal usage? No, uh, for 2 will be for uh, uh, like future usage. Okay. And 1 will be like uh, uh, routing table. Routing table and internal web application. Okay, four and then last one is live telecast. Yes? Yes. Okay. What is Lambda? Lambda is a, sub a serverless server. Uh -huh. So, where we can uh, stop and start the instance manually with the code. With the the code, okay. Do you integrate this Lambda with any other service or only Lambda can do this? The question is, you have to do some on a uh, Python code in this, right? And you do integrate the lambda with any other service or lambda can only do this start and stop because we have to integrate with ec2 instance ec2 instance is fine okay. so ec2 instance lambda only these two can do or we need to integrate this lambda by uh, ec2 instance with any other services to fix the time we need to some other service right what is yes, that so like event bridge is used to so what is event bridge uh, like if we, in Lambda, we'll use like manually, we, we'll stop and start the instance. Also. Okay. So in, in Event Bridge, we'll uh, set a particular time. Okay. So in that time, it will stop and start uh, instances okay. automatically. Uh, could you please explain the database in a multi uh, zone or, I mean, cluster? So, what is the use case? So why we use instead of single DB? If you use which one is better? Single DB is better or multi AD RDS deployment is better? multi user so why because if there's something happened in primary so it will be stored in the secondary uh, standby yeah. so 
we have also have a right right and a real right. databases